In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can integrate Serilog in ASP.NET MVC project. The first thing that we need to do is bring up the NuGet package manager. And there, we need to search for Serilog, as I've done over here. So you'll get a couple of responses like Serilog, Serilog extensions.logging, and Serilog syncs.file. Let's go ahead and install Serilog. So here I'll be installing the latest version. Click on OK. Once that is installed, the next thing that we need to install is serilog syncs.file. So it basically writes events to text files in plain or JSON format. So let's go ahead and install this as well. Here click on OK to install it. Once we have installed the NuGet packages and you can come over here under references to check it out like we have over here serilog and serilog syncs.file. Now once these references are there, next what we need to do is Ensure that we have a logs folder. You can give it any name, but it should be meaningful. So logs we have over here. And inside this directory, we'll be creating our log files. So what we've done over here, we have just taken this system.webhosting, hosting environment.map path to get this physical path on the server. And that is what we have stored in this log path variable. After that, we have created a new instance of logger configuration and we are writing the content or the logs in this file. So we are saying write to this file and then create logger. So we have our log instance now created and using log.information we are logging in a text message, simple text message saying hello Siri. And when I open up this logs directory you'll notice this log.txt file has been created and the content of the log file looks like this. Hello, Sari. Now let's quickly see what other options are available with log.information. So we'll say log dot. And here we have error information. And we have verbose warning as well. So these are a couple of options that we have with serilog and here I've demonstrated a very easy way of creating a logging mechanism using serilog in ASP.NET MVC.